I'm not very good at doing things in one take, but I'm going to try. Hi everyone. This is me just making a little quick video. I don't even want to call it an announcement or anything like that. This is just me saying like, hey, this channel is going to be kind of inactive. I'm probably not going to be posting videos anytime soon. If I get the inkling or the urge to do so, this is here for me to do so. But um, in case you've been wondering where I am or if you notice in the future that I have been inactive for a long time, this is why. Um, it is currently like May, but for the past couple of months, I haven't been feeling the urge to make videos. I just haven't. I've been doing this for almost 10 years. It'll be 10 years in June, I think like June 13th or something, um, which is a long time. And I just don't really feel like making videos right now. And I don't want this to be like super confessional or like diving into my booktube experience or a 20 minute deep dive into why I'm leaving booktube, etc. This is not intended to be dramatic or anything. This is just me saying like, hey, I might not be around very much in terms of making videos, but me not making videos also made me feel really guilty. And then I wasn't commenting on videos and I haven't been actively participating in the community like I want to. So I think I'll still be around in comments if I watch your videos. I probably am still watching them and have been um, and will continue to do so. But hopefully I won't feel as much guilt anymore because I, I'm not making myself make content. Exactly, not video content. I really wanted at the beginning of this year to not only continue to make videos, but also to post a review of every single thing I read on Instagram. Um, and I'm not doing that anymore exactly, but everything that I feel like sharing, I will share on Instagram, which is most of what I'm reading. I still miss that aspect of, of doing a, a brief recap of my thoughts and feelings about a book that has become so ingrained in my reading experience and how I, I process what I read, how I kind of, I don't know, just like even the, the cycle of reading, it doesn't feel like I'm done with a book until I've talked about it, which is weird and maybe one of the things I'm trying to break away from. Um, but also there's a lot of pressure in terms of like, feeling like I need to read all the time, feel like I need to have things to say about what I'm reading, um, and feeling the compulsion to share everything that I'm reading. I know I don't have to and no one would know, but it's a thing that has kind of been built into my reading is that I feel like I need to share everything that I'm reading, which means that there are certain things I haven't read because I don't want to talk about them, and now I don't have to. This is mostly just so that, you know, like, I'm still alive, I still exist. If you want to follow me anywhere, Instagram is going to be the place. I am active there. I check it every day, even if I'm not posting every day. Um, and if you want to know what I'm doing in my life, what's going on with me, and what I'm reading and reviewing, that's where it'll be for the time being. I. I knew I wouldn't be able to do it in one take, not even one video apparently, because I failed to mention that you also are, of course, welcome to follow me on Storygraph. That is where I post all of my currently reading stuff. I still post religiously on there when I start a book. Sometimes I'll update while I'm going through it, but I always record when I'm reading on there. So if you want to know what I'm currently reading, feel free to follow me there or send me a friend request. Uh, it's still a very ingrained, built-in part of my reading. I love starting a book and then marking it on Storygraph and wrapping up a book. I'll usually just pop in a star rating. I don't really do anything more detailed than that, but I do written reviews on my Instagram. And the reviews are really short. They're like three or four paragraphs. So, you know, Instagram captions can't be that long. I've actually always felt much more comfortable with the written word, actually. Weird that I picked video making as like my main hobby for the past decade, but um, I've always felt a lot more articulate and, and well-spoken, better rep able to represent my thoughts through writing. And I haven't done much writing since college or grad school, I guess. Um, but even still, I graduated from grad school in 2020. So it's been a long time. I've always felt more comfortable that way. I feel like I'm really well able to express myself through writing. My tone in terms of writing reviews is a little bit more academic, but that's also just kind of how I think. So anyway, I'm really selling it. Uh, but please follow me on Instagram if you want to stay and if you want to stay like socially connected and know what I'm doing in my life. And if you just want to know what I'm reading, please follow me on Storygraph. I don't post on Goodreads anymore. So if you're my friend on Goodreads, please don't be anymore. I don't look at Goodreads except for to look at other people's reviews, but I never look at my own stuff. So back to whatever I was saying. Everyone's been very sweet and supportive who has noticed my absence or saw my community post. I'm making this because I don't know who sees or how many people see community posts. And I don't think that they're very evergreen. You know, they're in the feed when they're in the feed and then it's hard to find them without looking for them. Whereas a video, I feel like it's easier to see. You'll, you'll see the title of the video just saying like, hi, I might not be around very much anymore. And that's okay. Um, 
so yeah, I just mostly wanted to make this video to say that. It's been a tough 2023 so far for a lot of reasons. Mostly, I don't even want to get into it, but the big things recently have been my job being really frustrating, um, having like personnel problems, um, being mistreated by my work workplace, and I recently moved to a new job that I'm really, really enjoying so far. I've been there for two weeks and I'm really loving it, so there's that. Um, I'm really happy there. I'm still a librarian, um, but also, well, Callie here, she has been recently diagnosed with kidney disease, so she's stage two, she's on medication. She also had extremely high blood pressure, apparently, so she's on a combo blood pressure, kidney medication. We had to change her diet, but as you can see, she's still happy, she's still here. She's 13, if you don't know, and I've had her for over 10 years, so yeah, she's good. Um, Dan is good, my husband, if you don't know, um, we're all good. We're still in New Jersey, haven't moved, thank God. I have been still reading a lot, not since I started my new job a couple weeks ago. My reading has pretty much ground to a halt, which is also kind of why I'm glad I'm not making videos because I don't have to explain or feel bad um, about like not making videos or not having things to make content about. So. I feel a lot more relaxed and free in general. And you know, if I ever feel the desire to come on here and say like, share my favorite books of the year or favorite books of the year so far or something, this will still exist and I'll still be able to do that. Um, so unsubscribe if you want, keep subscribed if you want. But if you want to follow me actively and know what I'm reading, follow me on Instagram. It's at Bookish Sabrina. Also, you can always buy a book from me, from Pango. I sell a lot of books, they're all in my closet right now and I would love for them to be gone. So buy a book from me on Pango Books. I'll link that below as well. If you're in the US, you can do that. Um, and yeah, thanks for all the support and everything. Like I said, this is not meant to be like a goodbye or sad or confessional or anything. It's just informational. This is why I'm not around very much, if at all, video wise, but I'm still here. This is certainly not goodbye. Um, and I don't want to ramble on too much or get too more in the weeds there. This is basically all I wanted to say is I'm still around, just not, not in the video making capacity for now, maybe for always, but maybe I'll feel like making another video about this topic later. Um, yeah, I just haven't been feeling like it. It's not a complicated reason. Um, it just is, is what it is. So thank you for watching. Um, follow me on Instagram if you would like, and I will see you around. Bye.